always trying to reduce the clutter of life in our designs. A lot of desert plants, desert animals, only have what they need to survive. The spaces are simple, calming. One of the, the unique things about Casa Caldera is the experience of the approach. The house is situated uh, 80 miles southeast of Tucson. From the basin of Tucson, cactus, saguaros, uh, choya, prickly things. You move through desert biomes into more mountainous region where we're at now. Two hours of travel to the site is actually part of the experience of arriving. It's not until you're 20, 30 feet from the house that you actually get a good look. As you leave the car and travel down the path to the entry, the house slowly reveals itself. Where the house actually sits now at the base of the Canelo Hills uh, was the rim of an old caldera. There was a lot of volcanic activity in southern Arizona. So we chose to use scoria. And scoria is basically a pulverized lava rock. We're always focused on those things you touch. That's your first handshake. It's the first embrace. It's the last thing you touch when you leave. Those tactile moments leave memories that may not be conscious, but they may leave you with impressions later. I think the ultimate goal for us is to create comfortable, poetic spaces that make people feel good. Building responsibly in a remote location, I think, uh, sort of laid itself on the table for us. Uh, a house that's passive, heating and cooling, not tied into the grid, solar power for electricity, very minimal use thought about in a responsible way. When we start the process of design, it's usually seeing the land first. So we come out here with no preconceived notion of what it's going to be, you know. We're responding to what we're feeling and seeing, and we're responding to the environment and tracking the sun. The program was simple. It's living, dining, kitchen, two bedrooms, one bath, as small as you can make it. But the security component made it a little more complex. We're about 15 miles north of the border, wanting to hide from any potential migrant traffic, narco traffic coming up north of the border. This house needed to shut down when he's gone for six months. The doors and windows 
and the Zaguan doors are about security, but they're also about being dynamic in use. We're sitting somewhere around 740 square feet of, of enclosed space. 260 square feet of that is the central Zaguan. It's a historic vernacular of this region. The idea is that that central space acts as a place to live, sleep, but it's also really a ventilator. So that starts to play into orientation, strategies of small windows and creating a positive and negative pressure to pull that air through. Without the owner participating in, in the house, it's not gonna work effectively. Jesus often describes the house as, you have to sail it. You're gonna have to figure out where the predominant wind's coming from, open certain windows, get the, get the hot moon, the cold. Being able to live out here during the process, we have the conversations on site where we're reacting to what we're seeing as we put it up. As we're in this space building it, uh, then it becomes an intimate relationship. We personally connect with it and, and are finding these solutions that are responsive. Going through textures and being out in the landscape, we wanted to complement that and bring those aspects into the house. ideas of leaving the formwork and uh, the maker's hand on the walls, uh, leaving the lines of the form, incorporating that thought into the process of building the doors and the panels and the, and the spot welds to emulate that formwork as well. Just sort of bring in this visual and tactile quality that for us took it deeper in that idea of blending into the landscape. In every project, we're always trying to consider what experience the user has, the owner has, um, to the things we are crafting. And for this house, it's almost every single aspect from the fixtures to the door handles to the, the windows and the texture of the walls. How many people get to live on site and build a project they designed? You know? That's rare in this practice. So we're fortunate to do that.